Alright guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we've got some interesting stuff to go over in regards to uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 and sort of Square Enix. Uh, coming from Reliable Leaker Midori, an Xbox insider, as well as a Bloomberg reporter talking about Square Enix's pipeline for the next two years. Before we get into that though, <laughs> whew, man, I gotta talk about this because this happened yesterday and is honestly like hilarious, dude. Uh, so, we all know that, like, Jeff Keighley took to Twitch to talk about Summer Games Fest, and one of the questions that he got was asking about, like, if Kingdom Hearts will show up, if Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to be a part of the show, is there going to be anything new, Jeff? You know that he basically told Kingdom Hearts fans that they are setting themselves up for failure, and basically confirming that Kingdom Hearts 4 is not going to show. Now, we have speculated, is Jeff just simply twisting the Kingdom Hearts nipple, or is he for real, for real? I mean, for me right now, I'm definitely leaning towards him actually just setting expectations. At this point, I'm really not expecting Kingdom Hearts 4 to show up. So yesterday on Twitter, Wario64, who's known for basically just posting uh, game deals as well as the odd piece of gaming news, tweeted out that Kingdom Hearts All for One is currently $40 on PSN. Jeff Keighley replied to this tweet with this. What is, what is this, Jeff? What, what does this mean, Jeff? This is raising alarm bells, Jeff. That's the Kingdom Hearts alarm going off. What does that mean, Jeff? What do you know, Jeff? I'm sorry, Jeff. Do you find this funny? Is this a game to you? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Huh. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see how it is, Jeff. <laughs> And then followed up to that tweet with a gift, don't even try it. <laughs> Bro is actually done with the Kingdom Hearts community. So the Kingdom Hearts community does have a bit of a reputation for absolutely badgering, hounding, and smacking the bee's nest when it comes to uh, wanting to know if Kingdom Hearts information is on the brink. We're definitely an incredibly vocal crowd, and it certainly seems as if recently Jeff has been getting hounded by people wanting to know if Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to show up at SGF. The first tweet, it, it, it's, it's sus, but then, like, he follows up with the don't even try it. I don't... <sighs> What's happening, dude? Like, WHAT IS GOING ON?! He knows exactly what he's doing. Look, even through these tweets, I just still don't have very high hopes for Kingdom Hearts at this point. Also, keeping in mind that Square Enix have not been confirmed to be a partner of Summer Games Fest as well, which I would only assume if there is going to be a big Kingdom Hearts for reveal, a big trailer or something like that, uh, that they would be on that partner list. Switching over to some Midori information, uh, recently, Midori has been talking about how Final Fantasy IX, the remake, is still currently in development at Square Enix. Originally, it was being developed out of house, but apparently Square weren't satisfied with how the project was progressing, and development basically shifted to being developed in-house. Final Fantasy IX has been rumored for a long time. It was part of that NVIDIA games list leak, and a lot of people have been wondering why it's been taking so long for Square to officially reveal it. This is exactly why. It seems like it's been going through some development issues. Midori's even mentioned that apparently the development of the title is very far along and that the game could even release before the end of the fiscal year, meaning anywhere from now through until April of next year. This is important to know because this would be classified as a bigger Square Enix release. Apparently, the scope of this isn't quite to the same degree as the Final Fantasy VII remake, but then it's also not like Crisis Core Reunion. It's uh, somewhere in between. Midori has has mentioned that there are plans for Square Enix titles to appear at the Xbox Showcase. I know what you guys are thinking, whoa, whoa slow down, <laughs> is there still a chance? Kingdom Hearts on Microsoft platform! Xenosaga actually asked Midori if they're planning on showing Kingdom Hearts 4 this year or not. Apparently Midori has like no information on Kingdom Hearts 4 and that they do not think that the Xbox Showcase will have new Kingdom Hearts stuff. This is obviously just Midori's opinion in regards to this. What Midori has said is that Square Enix titles 
will be there. Someone even mentioned that I believe Kingdom Hearts 4 news will happen at D23 this year. Midori seems to believe so as well, but again, doesn't have confirmed information right now. I think D23 is definitely a place that does make sense. It's happening in August of this year. This is Disney's very own event. In the past, there has been lots of information that's come out of D23. Just going back to the Xbox showcase though, there was some interesting info that came from Jez Corden, who is a known insider uh, over at Windows Central, mentioning that Microsoft has also landed marketing deals for some major upcoming third-party titles, with at least one gameplay debut that may bring solace to one wary fan base. It would be very strange for Kingdom Hearts 4 to get a trailer at the Xbox showcase, Stranger things though have happened. Keep in mind that for E3 2018, we did get a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer during one of the Xbox presentations. And we also know that Square Enix have been warming up to Xbox and Microsoft a lot more over the past decade, like more and more and more and more. And I would definitely classify the Kingdom Hearts fan base as a wary one. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Do I think they're talking about Kingdom Hearts though? I don't think so. Again, it's just that whole thing with Kingdom Hearts and Xbox, but who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Now, I don't really want to be the bearer of terrible news, but I thought it was definitely worth bringing this up in regards to Square Enix's pipeline. This is actually some information that came out last month around the time that um, the Square Enix info towards how the company's been performing over the past year came out from the holding side of the company. We know that Square Enix are kind of in a bit of an interesting situation with a lot of reshuffling happening. Unfortunately, uh, there has been some layoffs that have occurred. The company is essentially just taking a step back to revise their approach to video game development. Takashi, who is a reporter for Bloomberg, ended up putting out some really interesting info on Square Enix pretty much just before Square Enix themselves officially stepped forward to unveil all of that company-related information. And all of what he was saying was true. He then afterwards followed up with another really interesting tweet, a tweet mentioning that Final Fantasy 16, as well as Rebirth, unfortunately fell short of expectations. We absolutely know why this is. It launched only on PS5. And I think this is part of the big reason as to why Square Enix right now are focusing on multi-platform. But the big piece of interesting info here that Square Enix obviously wouldn't reveal from themselves was the way that the investors reacted to all of this info. Apparently, they have concerns for the pipelines that they've become too empty and that no big titles that can lift up the company's top line over the next couple of years is currently happening. Kingdom Hearts 4 is without a doubt a major title for Square Enix. It's a game that for investors is going to generate a lot of revenue. Things change and switch around like all the time, but this is interesting. This would almost tell us that Kingdom Hearts 4 might not. I, I don't want to stamp in shit on everyone's hopes and desires right now, but this could tell us that Kingdom Hearts 4 might not release in the next two years. Yes, this is definitely worrying, but don't go into doom mode. As I said, things change all the time. This is strictly through the lens of the Square Enix investors. And I also don't believe that this changes the fact of us hearing about Kingdom Hearts 4 this year. It's important to keep in mind that it is very possible that Kingdom Hearts 4 may have faced some kind of delay. We know that Dragon Quest 12 is going through some kind of a development hell. Along with that too, Final Fantasy 9 seemingly also is going through some kind of development issues. All of these changes that are going on at Square Enix aren't something that's happening just now. This is something that's obviously been boiling for quite some time. And with all of this information coming out about Square, I can't help but wonder if what Tetsuya Nomura was talking about last year, how there's sort of been a change in direction or something that's gone on with Kingdom Hearts, has something to do with the internal issues that were going on at Square Enix. Again, that's all just speculation. Um, again, I don't want to like ruin anyone's hopes and desires, but interesting food for thought. Have guys, a lot of showcases are happening over the next coming few days, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens at this point, my money is pretty much on D23, Tokyo Game Show, and the Game Awards. Three prime opportunities. We absolutely should be hearing about Kingdom Hearts Missing Link 
hopefully sometime soon. Now guys, that's all for today. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and it helps you guys stay in the loop. Check out my other garbage social media platforms. I promise you, they won't disappoint. Thank you so much to my turkey-tastic patrons. I really appreciate the support. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.